Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing as Communist China. All right, so let's just jump into it uh, as we're fighting, fighting Japan, and it's been a rough fight so far, obviously, because uh, in the back we only have eight divisions. Uh, just taking a look at those two divisions we have trained in, they're making some progress. Uh, we'll hopefully have them to help out soon, uh, and then we'll also get the uh, equipment problems uh, solved after that. Uh, so China has called. Okay, yeah. So they've been uh, pulled into the the actual conflict, and we'll just have to see how they do. Uh, they'll probably bring our, their troops over here, I'd assume, uh, which would just further exhaust supply, really, because as you see, supply is already an issue. That might not be an entirely good thing. Uh, I'm really tempted to pull out of here. Uh, I don't want them to lose the civilian factories and military factories that might be located in the city there. But I don't know that this is really the best thing to do right now, uh, when we could be fighting across the rivers here and doing a lot better overall. Uh, this is There's no bonuses in this, this attack here. So I almost think that we should uh, not uh, be fighting in this. But at the same time, we are costing them a lot. These guys are actually attacking across the river, so they're getting the river penalties. So yeah, something to consider. Um, you know what, let's go ahead and we'll keep on sending some divisions over there. We'll keep helping them out. I was gonna pull out Let's see if we can't hold it for a little bit longer. And yeah, you see we already made a little bit of impact there. Uh, so we yeah, I didn't consider the fact that there is that river there. So we're getting a little bit of a, a bonus there. All right. And these divisions really can't do nothing here. Uh, there's just not not really a lot of uh, options open to us. Uh, we could also move them over to here, though, and attack right there. That's looking a little bit weaker than here. Not much more weaker. These guys are taking attrition. Uh, Japan gets just, you know, has devastating problems from the attrition uh, here. AI Japan's pretty garbage overall. They don't do very well. Uh, not as well as a player does. But that's going to take a long time before we actually see the effect from that. So nothing to get excited about, of course. Uh, we got the improved infantry equipment one. Uh, so I think we'll go ahead and go with support weapons one next. I think we should probably continue focusing on, uh, yeah, on getting stuff that is immediately beneficial that doesn't require us to build equipment and all that kind of good stuff. I uh, can do the last military high command. Uh, as far as options here, there's really only two, division recovery rate or entrenchment. Entrench speed is useful, you know, you're entrenching a lot faster, but it's not max entrenchment, which to me is the far more beneficial one. So I don't think we're gonna go for that. I think we're gonna do division recovery rate. That is, is a super useful, and that puts us at a total of 16% from our advisors since we have 8% here. So. I think that would be the best thing for us to get, honestly. Our divisions recover faster, uh, recover their, their morale faster. Excuse me, their organization is what it, the game calls it. So yeah, uh, I think it would be super, super helpful in the long run. Uh, so that's what we'll go for first. And we're just gonna keep on rotating divisions over here and trying to help out. It does look like it's gonna be lost here uh, pretty soon, but we'll keep it going since we are holding out here longer than expected. And I don't think we would win here against these five divisions. I really don't think our divisions can de defeat Japanese divisions at this point. Our division designs are pretty cruddy, honestly. Uh, there's really not much to them at this moment. Uh, we do have experience to make adjustments there, of course, but, uh, you know, obviously, there's no real reason to rush towards that since we're lacking equipment. Uh, we actually do have infantry equipment, excuse me. Let me uh, change that stance. Uh, we haven't built any infantry, or excuse me, any artillery. So what we're gonna do is let's take one of the uh, infantry equipment factories and put it over here towards artillery so that we can add artillery to our divisions. Uh, that's what I really want for them. I'll take a look at how these guys are doing. They're almost finished up. All right, that's excellent to see. All right, very pleased about that. Uh, so we did finish the National Focus. Let's go and get something selected. Um, we got the Abolish the Land Rent. I said we're gonna do Infiltration next so we can start working on that because we don't really have anything to spend our political power on, I think, at this point. I wanna say we can't get any of these. I could be wrong. But I wanna say we can't get any of this right now. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to do tanks anyway. The, the one we'd want to do is material designer, and you can't do these until you control these states, so not an option. Same thing here. So yeah, can't get those. Uh, the political advisor can't get him yet, because we need a certain focus for that. Uh, could change up to, or change up our mobilization. I suppose that's probably what we'll do. All right, so we still do have a few things left to get. So we won't get the... We won't get the infiltration just yet, since I don't want to spend the pillow bar on it. Uh, let's instead get something that'll help us out uh, immediately, which would be this branch or this branch. Uh, just taking a look here. Yeah, this is something we'll probably work on later. 
We do need to get rid of that Red Army Weakened. So you know what? Let's go and go after this one. 70 days. Knock that out. All right. Still holding out here. Holding out strong. Uh, yeah, so this is not bad at all. Um, I I'm surprised we actually have held on in that province as long as we have. Uh, so let's go ahead and continue to send divisions over there. Because why not? All right, so we got the uh, motorize uh, completed. And not immediately beneficial. We can't even can't even build motorized we don't have any factories um so getting the field hospitals next i don't know how useful that would be since we don't have any motorized um we can't build them gonna be getting artillery soon yeah you know what i think we're gonna have to start going towards land doctrines at this point I'm not seeing anything else um well you know what actually we can get competing machine we'll get that first research faster all right, so uh, this division here is going to go into that province and hold out. Keep on holding out, guys. Doing good. Proud of you. All right, I'm going to attempt to attack here since they're already attacking, seeing if uh, we can help at all. I'd love to be able to push them back, grab that capital. That'd be nice. Um, what's going on over here? Who are they attacking and not actually battling? Oh, okay. Oh, that's that's, that's right. That's the uh, Chinese division. It's my bad. I uh, did get our land lease canceled, unfortunately, because now we have a stockpile of infantry equipment. So, uh, what we'll go ahead and do with that, since we have the army experience, and we are building up the artillery as well, uh, this is going to affect all of our troops in combat, so... Okay, this is what we're going to do. Let's deploy these two. Put them into a, a training army, get them trained up. And then we can also throw any other troops that are on this front that need to train up. There aren't any right now. Right now we're doing pretty good. Let's get these guys training. So let's finish this battle up. Uh, looks like we, we pretty much probably lost this. Yeah, it does look like we lost. So let's go and pull it back. And then we're going to go ahead and change up our division designs. It is going to impact this uh, this battle here a bit. Because whenever you change up division designs, it does you know affect the organization of the units. Uh, so it is something to consider. So we could add the support artillery here. Uh, but I prefer to add the artillery here. I think that'd be the, the best way to do this. Uh, so let's go ahead and do it here. Uh, and do get some artillery going. Um, probably should just do one for right now since we don't have any guns created. Uh, so we'll do that, just one, and then more infantry. Uh, I want to get this up to 40 width, so we need a lot more uh, infantry divisions. Uh, how, how many, actually? Let me just take a look here. We're just gonna, we're not gonna build this out this way yet. I'm just trying to see how we're looking uh, on total. And then we're going to get two anti-tanks, more than likely. Probably. We might just put support, because Japan doesn't use a ton of tanks. So we might not need two anti-tanks. Maybe we'll just do a support there. Uh, either way, though, we still need at least two more infantry battalions, if this is how much artillery we're going to put into it. Okay. So I just wanted to see how many we needed total. Oops. My bad. Didn't mean to do that. So yeah, let's go and get uh, another infantry and an artillery. Okay. So that's probably good for our equipment, um, but let's do the one more infantry. And that's gonna be it for right now. That's gonna be the, the design. So let's save that. And that will affect everybody's you know experience, of course. We might pull them back if they need to and let them train. We'll see how they look on experience once they get all that manpower to the units. Yeah, some of these guys will need some training. All right, but that's fine. Uh, let's go and take these ones that do need Looks like it's going to be both of these two here. So let's just go and pull them back and put them into the training army. That guy also needs to. Okay. So we'll pull him back as well and just have... We'll just have all of our units pull back. Let them uh, train up. Another Lend-Lease offer. We're going to take that again. Uh, now that we are once again lacking infantry equipment. Quite a bit of it. Let these guys train up. Get their experience going. Uh, you see that our, our manpower is ticking down quite a bit now. Uh, pumping those into those units. Uh, we did get excavation, uh, so let's go ahead and... Do we want to get the next excavation? How are we doing on resources? How much did that help? It got us one steel, which means I'm going to pull this back so that we can have that additional civilian factory for building this military factory, which we're not going to get done until October. Good God. All right. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll pull that back. Uh, and I think it would be beneficial, I suppose, to keep getting that steel. We have such limited resources. I don't know, man. Let me just take a look and see if there's anything that would be more beneficial to us. 
I don't, there's not really a whole lot of options except for land doctrine. So we might as well just finish this. Let's get the excavation done. That'll fix the one steel we're lacking right now, uh, which is impacting the artillery, the guns. So yeah, it's having a little bit of impact. Uh, also, we are short on uh, aluminum as well, so that's impacting the support equipment. Oh, and we need to get motorized. God damn it. Yeah, I forgot about that. We'll have to put them the down at the bottom, but yeah, we just don't have the factories, man. Oh, the factories, because we build so slow. It's just ungodly how slow we construct, man. All right, uh, bypass the provoked pan, of course. So that's been knocked out. So that allows us to get these bonuses here. Uh, protracted Warfare, which is Division Defense on Court Territory and People's War. Uh, also pretty good there because you're going to have uh, cheaper infantry equipment. You do the Mobile Warfare. Uh, Army Organization Regain, Division Attack on Court. That's pretty good, too. Launch 100 Regiments Offensive. I don't really know what that is. It seems interesting. All right, and we still haven't gotten the political power yet, so we're going to wait for the infiltration. I'm seeing what other bonuses uh, we can get right now. That unlocks the Prince of Terror guy, which not really all that interested in getting. Stability's maxed out, so we don't need that. What we really need to get is get rid of the Red Army Weakened. Uh, just taking a look at this again, so we haven't looked at it since we started here. Yeah, look at that. Just uh, terrible. The training time is, is terrible. Yeah, th this is definitely something we want to get rid of. Uh, pretty early here, so let's go and do that, guys. Let's go and work towards that. We should really get rid of that the national spirit. It's bad. Uh, looks like we did win here. Uh, they pushed our division back, but yeah, uh, looks like they they did end up losing there. Fantastic news, guys. I am very pleased with that. Okay, so they held out there, uh, and they they've kind of given up attacking here as well. Uh, let's take a look and see. Oh, nice. They actually are pushing forward there. Are these guys done training yet? They are not but soon, and then we'll get them put it back into the regular army, get the organization back up and kind of help out there. All right, so uh, China's doing well, uh, working together, allied. I am a little bit worried about naval invasions, though. Again, I, I'm pretty sure it's, I don't know what the date is that they're programmed to not do uh, any invasions, or if there even is a date. I don't actually know there is. So let's have this guy come on over here. And so these guys done training yet? Almost. Still got one guy left that we're waiting on. And then we'll help them attack there, because you can see that they're they're losing. Um, or it's not getting, it's not going as high as it was before. We do need to let our organization get back up. Uh, the, the planning bonuses also help. Uh, we got support weapons, awesome. That'll help our divisions out as well. Still deep in 1938, uh, mid-1938, so uh, not, you know, anywhere early enough to get that. I suppose, since we're, we're going to start working on, I mean, I really want to get field hospitals, but I'm worried about manpower. So I think it would probably be a good idea to, to get that into our divisions. So we'll get that. As far as other um, support, oh, my bad. Other support, uh, there's not really anything else other than artillery right now. So yeah, I think we'll probably add those in there. Uh, taking a look at our equipment situation and this is how we're looking right now. All right, it's not great. We just don't have any damn factories. Uh, oh, and we can modify our government. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we want to change up our mobilization let's go to um you know we're not gonna go to total mobilization we don't want to affect our, our manpower let's go with the war economy and that should give us one extra civilian factory yes sir all right so we're gonna get that done in september now just a little little bit of stuff man to get excited about i know civilian factories aren't much oh nice and we won here uh all right well let's tag there uh, it does look like that's gonna be a loss all right, we're going to pull it back then. No reason to do an attack that's clearly not going to work. Uh, and it does look like they lost here, unfortunately. All right, that's a shame. Maybe we'll attempt to attack again once we get our... Yeah, we'll attempt to attack again. They're also pulling a division out. Let's get our organization up, get our planning bonuses up. Maybe let them kind of exhaust themselves, our allies exhaust themselves against them a little bit. And then we'll do the attack. And we're going to slow this down to speed four as well. Uh, we did lose. Yeah, we lost that, unfortunately. But yeah, we're on the attack right now. I don't know if that's a good thing, because our allies are going to exhaust themselves. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, at least we're not being attacked. So I suppose there's that. Our equipment's not where we want it to be at. Obviously, we need a lot of equipment for our troops. So every time we do an attack, it's it's risky. Like, this wasn't really worth it. Probably not. So we'll just pull it back. Yeah, it does look like they're going to lose either way. But if they finish up the attack and we can be the first ones in the battle, maybe we'll do it. Because, you know, we had those divisions that are just sitting on the, you know, waiting to reinforce. 
Yeah, all the attacks, all the Chinese attacks are unsuccessful. Unfortunately. Yeah, not looking great. Still got two more divisions over here training. Uh, so that'll be helpful getting them on the line once they're finished up. Uh, equipment's getting a little bit better. You can see infantry equipment is nowhere near as bad as it was. We're still getting equipment from Mongolia. Uh, they are losing here, so that means we are going to have to send divisions over here. Yeah, we're going to have to send a, a division over there to reinforce. Uh, since they are about to lose that province. In fact, we're going to have to send two divisions over there. And we might not be able to get there soon enough. No. I don't think so. They're attacking us here as well. Okay, so... Having trouble up here in the north. Alright, I'm going to launch an attack here so that they can't attack us again. I'm right, trying to get my divisions over there in time. Alright, so we got one of them, but he... God, I hate when that happens. When they get become part of the the battle and they haven't reinforced yet, so then they retreat, even when they're full organization and strength. Yeah, that's that's frustrating. And this is the same thing's gonna happen here. Same exact thing's gonna happen there probably. Yeah, because they haven't reinforced yet. Oh, maybe they are in there. All right, so they will have to defeat them. But again, um, yeah, <laughs> obviously, uh, you see, uh, one division doesn't have much of a chance against all these guys here. I was gonna pull that back. That's clearly not gonna work. I think I was just doing that so they couldn't attack us. All right, they're attacking again here now. All right, so starting to see some some problems here. As we knew it would eventually happen. Look at the Chinese strength. It's low everywhere. They are out of equipment, guys. This is what always happens in China. Uh, they have trouble with that equipment. They just don't have the ability to build much equipment. France and Britain is now part of an alliance as expected. Got the Central Military Commission done. And then we want to get the Red Army weekend removed. So we're getting the People's Liberation Army. Get that uh, now. All right, so lots of problems, guys. Going to lose up here, more than likely. We'll try and fight as long as we can. And also some troubles here that we're going to have more trouble reacting to. I actually, I actually want to go ahead and reduce this. So that this division can go ahead and move and help out here. Make sure we don't lose that province. We've been fighting for it so long. Figured might as well keep it as long as we can. Though it does look like we're about to lose it. Alright, that's unfortunate. Let's send these guys here and then these guys up here. Just get a full strength division in there. Just looking at equipment, and it's actually getting worse now because of the losses, unfortunately. They did win there as well, so that's a problem. So we need to get divisions over here to help them out. Yeah, this is... We don't. We now don't have enough divisions here. I almost want to pull these guys who are training and put one of them over there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how we do um, on keeping these guys locked down here. It's, it's a rough train for them to fight. Also, there's now a division over here. All right. Starting to have some problems, guys. The Japanese are pushing forward. Yeah. Uh, the Chinese strength is just really low. I'm assuming they're out of equipment. It's typically what ends up happening. You start running low on the damn equipment. 9% uh, towards getting an infantry leader. Oh, Marshall Mao doesn't have anything going right now. Uh, we do have this guy who's taking a little bit of experience drop, but we're not going to train him right now. We don't really have that opportunity right now, unfortunately. Might want to go ahead and pull these guys back. That does look like there's going to be a loss there. That'll allow us to get a, a division into that province. Uh, we'll fight there as long as we can, just because it's hills. So we do get that nice uh, bonus. Might as well use it. And they're not going to take this province, I don't think. I think we're all right for right now. Uh, but yeah, they're starting to start pushing towards our own territory here, which would require me to evacuate my troops here uh, to defend our territory, because we cannot allow them to have uh, yeah border with our territory. Absolutely cannot allow that. So we might need to send a division over there. I'm assuming both of these divisions are going to go up here to this territory, uh, more than likely. Yeah. I don't see why we wouldn't send those two there. It's uh, definitely a more precarious situation in regards to our territory up here in the north than it is over here. We'll continue letting them train up, though. Uh, so look at those nice uh, combat bonuses once they do come over here. It does look like we are going to lose this province here. Uh, so I think we should go ahead and stop trying to fight there. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to hold out there much longer. So let's go and pull them back. Alright, they're attacking there, and it's just because they haven't got the reinforcements yet, so... I don't know, you never know, maybe they'll push them back. That allow us to defend all three of these provinces here, but can't defend here just yet. Still waiting on equipment for... Yeah, really starting to hurt on that infantry equipment now. We did lose that province there. Okay, what I want to go ahead and do... 
because you can see that we're losing here as well. Let's go and pull this back. And I almost want to go ahead and start entrenching up along here, which would, in fact, hmm. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. It's fine if we don't entrench in one province. Let's go and send these guys over here. Make sure that we can defend this border here. I just had to give up that city. Though I'm not sure where they're going to send this guy. Yeah, I kind of want him over there, but so we can start entrenching up. But it's fine. It's fine, guys. All right, so fight's going all right. Um, they're pushing us back, you know, province by province. It's, uh, as you typically expect from a, the Japanese Chinese war. Uh, China does well initially, and then they exhaust themselves. The AI does. It's throwing, they should just stay on the defense. If AI China just stayed on the defense, uh, they could win. Uh, they could bleed Japan dry of, of manpower and equipment. Uh, but they never do. They never do. But with our help, I think they should uh, be able to last in the war, lo hopefully long enough for the Allies to get involved. I guess we'll see. Let's have to see what happens there on that front. We can take a look and we'll see what everybody's doing. Uh, spiritual mobilization there in Japan. Uh, obviously, we're kind of a ways away from seeing like America, who really needs to be involved, uh, from joining. Uh, we have France working on Algerian France. Can't see what the UK is working. It's going to be more and more. We're not going to be able to see what anybody's doing because we didn't. Yeah, because we don't have those focuses, unfortunately. Or excuse me, those texts. All right. Well, not surprising. All right. You see, we're barely holding out in these provinces we're defending in. So yeah, definitely a problem, man. Uh, but I'm going to let these guys continue training up. I think it's worth it. Uh, having full experienced units over here. And they're not going to win quickly. This is this will be a rough fight for them. we got plenty of territory here to defend before they push us back. Uh, so I'm not too worried about it yet. Uh, they are winning here. Interesting. Even with the river uh, penalty, they've got to be taking insane amounts of, of casualties. In fact, at the end of this episode, we'll take a look at the casualties. We'll, we'll save a little bit of time to like, take a look at the casualties and see how we're doing. Uh, so I, I think we're done here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else we're going to do right now. Um, I think we're just going to go ahead and save our political power until we have um, you know, something to get, one of the guys that unlocks for us. Uh, somebody who would actually be beneficial. Uh, obviously, these are not. Uh, we're just going to save the political power for those infiltration missions now. There's no reason to do anything with that at this moment. Uh, we are short on steel again. Okay. Uh, did we get access to another... Oh, okay. We finished that uh, factory. I keep forgetting. Uh, we need to have these building out more. Oh, man. All right. Uh, so just wasting time here. Uh, so next one will be built in the 4th of May. I almost want to get another civilian factory. Uh, just because... Um, you know, we're in a, a position where we have so few uh, civilian factories. We have five of them, so we just can't build anything very fast. I guess we'll get the we'll get the military factory though. It's real important to get a civilian factory if you can't even build uh, anything because we filled it up, filled all the slots up. So yeah, we'll get the the military factory. We need we need more. So taking a look at the okay, that went towards the motorized. All right, which we don't even need at this moment yet, but we will need. Uh, so, is there anything we can make, like, adjustments with our divisions right now? Let's just take a look here. Obviously, we still need a lot of guns. So, I don't think adding that in there would be useful. Uh, yeah, we still don't have... Still waiting on getting that tech done. Alright, that's fine. We'll wait. Uh, 54 days before we get that done. Okay. So, almost through 1938 here. And, uh, things are looking rough for China, man. Not looking good. Looks like we were defeated in all the provinces that we are currently defending in. Uh, they are going to break across this river now at this point. So let's get these guys moving over to these provinces where we're losing. And hopefully these guys finish their training soon. They're almost there. 90% here. 87% here. And I do want, don't want to send untrained units in there. Uh, we are taking attrition, unfortunately, in all these areas as well. Uh, luckily, we don't take as much attrition because of that one uh, advisor that we have. So that's helpful. These guys going exactly where we want them. That's where we're losing uh, we got excavation. Excellent. Um, so let's go ahead and get... I kind of feel like we should go ahead and keep working to 1939 techs. Um, just because industry right now is the most important thing to us. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to have to be a little bit inefficient. Just because it's so important. We won't go and get uh, encryption or decryption. We just can't waste the, the techs on that right now. Uh, there's just too much other stuff that we need. And so let's get the 1939 infantry equipment. Once again, uh, a little bit inefficient, but... I'm really just trying to focus on getting, um, you know, the stuff that we're using right now. Uh, infantry equipment is our main thing that we use, so yeah, it'll be useful. Let's go and bring this division over here to help out. 
since they really can't beat us here well you see they're they're definitely beating us in those two uh, got the people's liberation army so that's really useful because uh, it got rid of that national spirit which was pretty bad overall uh the volunteer army doesn't yeah help doesn't help us at all um so can't no, no reason to go for that i suppose we're gonna go out through the infiltration next yeah so we have something to use our political power for and then we'll we'll work on that yeah so let's go and go after this so that this doesn't just keep on stacking up and we're not doing anything with it all right so the munich agreement so again all these are going to go uh, as they do historically so Czechoslovakia did give up the Sudeten land. All right, so no war in in uh, Europe just yet. Not that that's going to help us out much. All right, so get that division over there. Are these guys done yet? Almost. They're so close. Ninety six percent here. This division is not able to to rescue them. Oh fuck, shit, Private. All right. <laughs> Almost there, man. I'm, I'm going to wait. We waited this long. We might as well let him finish. He's at 97%. Let's take a look at the situation here, and where do we want him? We want him going over here. This is where he's needed most. Yeah, but my, at this point, might as well wait. Might as well pull this guy back, too. He's not going to get there in time. Yeah, let's let him finish training. He's at 98%, 99%, and... Come on. You can do it, man. Finish your training. There we go. They did get across that river as well, so that's really bad. Let's go and send that division over there. China's losing, guys. China's losing. All right, so we're going to want to have the troops go all the way around this. Again, though, we're in a pretty bad position overall. I'm still waiting on this last division to get done, and I'm not sure where we'll send them. I almost want to go ahead and send them up to this one just because it's closer. Yeah, I think that would probably be the best place to send them at this point. And let's go ahead and also reduce our coverage here and just cover that province. Mm -hmm. I almost want to just entrench up here behind the river. I don't know. I suppose we might as well kill troops where we can. You know, get these mountain provinces and stuff. Let's go and pull back from this one. Start entrenching here. Uh, yeah, they're attacking across that river. They're, they're not going to win that. Yeah, they have no chance there. Maybe they'll weaken themselves so much we'll be able to attack there. I highly doubt it, though. I don't think we're going to be launching any attacks, guys. Uh, because they're just not just not in a position to do so. I thought these guys take the... You know, just up to that province get up on the railroads. Uh, these guys are not done as well. And I almost think we should go ahead and send them here. Although, we're losing here as well. So, this is more important. This is a more important province, though. Because uh, it's uh, closer to our territory. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and send them here. I'll just do five and five. I think that's uh, for the best right now. I don't want to lose this territory here. I don't want to, you know, get pushed back any further anyways. It does look like we're going to lose here, though. As long as we don't get cut off, that's really all we can do at the moment, is just avoid being cut off. Uh, they did get uh, pushed back here, though. We will attempt to defend more territory, I guess. Yeah, it's just a terrible position now. Uh, they held out in that little city there, uh, which is interesting. They may very well get cut off at this point now. And do we have any excess equipment? We do not. We only have the motorized. All right. Did we ever finish the research up for field hospitals? We did not. So we can't even add those in yet. All right. Uh, so, yeah, very rough fight against the, the Japanese at this point. And we just have to hope that uh, China overall can hold out long enough for the United States to join the conflict and Japan to get distracted with other things, you know, to attack the... And maybe even to get distracted over here, something like that. It's really all we can do. It does feel like we've got this point here locked down now. Uh, and we'll take them at least for that artillery. So yeah, we uh, are doing okay here now, which is very good because that's the the territory I was worried about. Here though, yeah, just very, very bad. Uh, just not good. Not good at all. We'll keep defending here as long as we can. We will pull out this one because that's a lost cause. Let's get our troops out of there. Just kind of hold out as long as we can. Um, and just go and delete that. Luckily, none of our divisions got cut off there, but theirs did. Uh, that's a lot of Chinese divisions, unfortunately. Uh, so... Yeah, it's, it's not going well. All right, this is here looking like we're going to lose that province. Okay, that's all right. That is all right. Uh, I almost want to go ahead and start pulling back here and let them have all this. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Go ahead and just uh, defend this territory here. We don't need a planet bonus anymore, guys. Yeah, 
and we're already taking we're taking very high casualties right now uh, and that's affecting our equipment you know we need to uh find a way to reduce the amount of casualties we're taking so let's just have all of these divisions oops my bad that was not what i wanted to do let's take them here these guys here okay they're already gone excellent uh so let's go ahead and start pulling back get all these guys covering these provinces and most importantly getting entrenched that's what i want nice entrenchment bonus before they launch these attacks here uh, this is defending our homeland uh, this is the river this is the point we have rivers we have mountains we have everything we need to be successful uh, so hopefully this defense works out well if we can get entrenched um by the time they get there then i think i think we should be able to defend it all right so we got the field hospitals so let's go ahead and start working on land doctrines we do have the army experience again we are going to go for mass assault doctrine i know it's the the worst <laughs> i'm aware guys uh, I'm, I'm aware but we're gonna go down it for role play purposes and because i never go down this branch uh, honestly i think the best branch for us would probably be grand battle plan uh superior firepower once again gives some great bonuses for the artillery and the leg infantry um all things that we're using a lot of However, it also gives a lot of bonuses for tanks and, and motorized and stuff as well. Uh, so, you know, uh, I, I think if you go down this route, yeah, there's some tank stuff. It's not too bad, though. It's mostly soft art. It's mostly, excuse me, mostly artillery and uh, leg imagery, uh, things that we are are using uh, and are, are helpful. However, again, I'm going to go down this route for roleplay purposes and because we never go down uh, the mass assault because it's sucky, probably. Uh, but th there's some good stuff here, guys. It's not a, the, there's not the, it, okay, it is the worst land doctrines, but I mean, it's not the worst as in like, there's no good benefits. There are some good benefits there, guys. Pretty good benefits. So, it'd probably be beneficial to leave this province, um, to not defend that one anymore. But man, uh, defending a mountain province, why would you give that up? Uh, I think it would be helpful to keep fighting there. So we'll keep, keep on fighting there. Mongolia did cancel their land lease to us, unfortunately. Such a shame. Uh, losing here. Uh, and there's really not much I can do here, guys. Just keep on falling back. We'll go ahead and pull back here, though. You see, we're actually about to get um, uh, surrounded here, so that wouldn't be good. We only have 10 divisions. That's 10% of our army. Uh, so let's get them pulled back um, at the very least, and then hopefully nobody goes over there on their own. Not to just pay attention to them. I don't want them going over there. But yeah, just losing across this. Uh, there's not really much I can do. I almost want to, in fact, pull them back over to this and let them go that way. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and, and, and just decrease this a bit. Now, I don't actually want any troops going there. So let's go ahead and have these guys go this way. Same with them. Don't want to defend that. Um, where's he going? Ah, don't do that, dog. Let's go this way. If they push him back, then great, but I wouldn't be surprised if they don't. All right, well, it did work out for a little while anyways. Get that guy coming over here, seeing if he can help him out. Let's go ahead and pull this guy back. And again, we just have to watch that, and make sure nobody pulls back over there. Uh, still holding out there, despite the fact that we left. Uh, so that's good to see. All right, we have 235 uh, political power right now, uh, and we are going for the infiltration. So we should be able to start using that for those infiltration missions here soon. This guy here is trying to leave. Let's make sure he uh, retreats, so we can defend this territory up here. Uh, so they don't get too close to our borders. That's kind of the goal here. Uh, there's not really any stopping their advance, obviously, as you can see. Uh, we can't stop it. Uh, not at this point. Uh, and we're losing a lot of equipment right now on these attacks. Um, or on these defenses, excuse me. So yeah, we're, we're not doing great at the moment, unfortunately. Yeah, the, uh, Chinese are holding out. I mean, they're doing better than they would if, if we weren't helping them, I feel. Uh, is somebody attacking right now? Look like somebody was. Yeah, we don't want anybody attacking. We want to stay on the defense. And trench up and stay on the defense. Could also bring the border up here so we could defend. How many provinces are we currently trying to defend? One, two, three, four. So yeah, let's go ahead and increase it up then. Since that's another, that's another mountain province we can defend, and it would give us a nice border here uh, where we touch the border uh, with our other army. So that's what we'll do. And yeah, infiltration knocked out. Excellent. Uh, that gives those decisions. And I suppose we can go down this route next. Yeah, I think that'd be the best thing to do. So we looked at this before. We can do the protracted warfare, which is division and defense on core territory plus 20%. Very, very good. Uh, People's War, also very good. Infantry equipment production cost is redu reduced, which is super helpful. Uh, organization regain, 
obviously great uh great bonus there the attack on core territory another great bonus uh and you can do whatever this is i don't actually know what this is our enemies think it's weak and a mere nuisance wilderness and security there will be ill prepared for a major offensive i'm not entirely sure what that does seems like something that would be pretty good but just looking at the current situation I feel like if we have to go this route, uh, just just because we need that division core de territory defense, uh, and we need the production cost reduction, so we kind of have to go down this route. Unfortunately, I'd like to see what the other route does, uh, but yeah, just not. It's just not an option, guys. Uh, it's not an option for us. All right, so yeah, so nothing to get here, and now we're just kind of waiting, uh, just waiting to. I don't know what we're actually waiting for. I don't think I added those in there yet, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's add the field hospitals. I know this is going to cause problems, guys. Uh, but we do have some motorized here. Uh, so it won't be enough, obviously. But why build motorized if you're not going to use them? So we're going to put that in there. As far as guns, we're still lacking a lot of guns right now. Uh, There's so no point on, on adding more guns in here at this moment. Let's just go ahead and save it. And that should help us a little bit uh, with our the amount of troops that we lose. So manpower, pretty important. Also, the experience gain. Uh, you lose a lot less experience. Uh, so this guy here could actually use a little bit of training. I don't want him to lose the entrenchment, though. So, yeah, that's something to consider. If we if we get him trained, he will lose his entrenchment. Now, they can't attack us yet. They have to win here first. So I think it would be beneficial to go and train him up, even if he loses in his entrenchment, because it won't take him long. Uh, he's pretty close. And uh, I want to keep all these guys at their, their regular experience level, if possible. All right, so we almost got a dude here. Uh, which is good, since one of their divisions were just defeated there. Uh, just looking at the rest of the front here. Alright, they're not really ha attacking as much. And they're taking a break. Alright, that'll let us get it entrenched. So, very good. I want to make sure that this guy doesn't train any more than needed. He's at 97%. Okay. Well, let's see if we can hold out in these mountains and across these rivers. Uh, this is obviously a pretty uh, terrible point to defend at. Um, you know, we have some hills here, though, so that's helpful. But really where our main defense will be would be right along here, if need be. Uh, or maybe like, I mean, honestly, it'd probably best defend our own territory, but yeah, I don't want to uh, lose any. Uh, we do have, um, you know, cores and all throughout here. So the, those bonuses that we get for the core defense, those do apply uh, for all this territory that we're currently defending in. We could always take a look in the next time they attack on our divisions, make sure we're getting, you know, see what our, our current uh, core defense is right now, if we wanted to see. See how well our troops do. Uh, they're they're largely infantry, uh, so they're going to have very good defense, anyways. Uh, so yeah, here's our division here. Uh, you can take a look at his defense, 660. <laughs> That's crazy. Look at the Chinese. Uh, I guess we're all Chinese. Um, look at the, the, the regular China, uh, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I, I typically call them Republic China since that's what they're, you know, called historically. They're the Republic China. A lot of people don't like that though because it, it it's confusing since Communist China became the People's Republic of China. Uh, but yeah, look at uh, China's uh, defense value. 216 for this division. Uh, 92 here, 68 here. Very low overall compared to our 660. A uh, big part of that is the entrenchment. Of course, from our country, though, we have a plus 45%. Uh, we're modified by 261%. Wow. Uh, so very, very good defense here, guys. Um, yeah, they're going to have trouble. Uh, they're going to they're gonna take extreme casualties. As I said, at the end of this episode, we are going to look at the casualties because I'm interested. I'm curious uh, how well we've done here. Yeah, if only I was playing as China, uh, as, as regular China, we would be able to do a bit more. Uh, but as communist China, we are pretty weak here in the beginning. Um, there's a lot of routes we could have done this. Uh, we could have not uh, joined the conflict and let China get defeated while we build up our strength. That's always an option as well. I just felt like that would probably be the more difficult option to let Japan, Japan uh, run free. And, and this, I think, is the most costly one for them manpower-wise. It's our greatest ability to reduce their strength. It does look like we're going to lose here. Uh, unfortunately, these mountains held out for a while, but yeah, they couldn't do it forever. We're really short on equipment as well. Uh, equipment problems are bad. Um, I almost want to like not build motorized. I don't know. Uh, lend lease for artillery. We'll accept that. But yeah, the equipment situation's just just terrible, guys. It's absolutely terrible. Yeah, these guys are probably gonna lose here, which would require us to pull this back. And you know what? Let's go ahead and prepare for that now. Let's go ahead and send... Um, just move all our divisions up. Let's go ahead and actually pull this back a lot, in fact. Pull that back here. Let's send... Um, 
Let me see, where's these divisions at? I have four. Where's the other one? I'm missing one. He's right here. Let's go ahead and get this guy moving up over here now. And then we'll go ahead and take this guy and have him go over here as well. Start moving over there towards there. In fact, we'll go ahead and have him take the railroad so he can get there a little bit quicker. Same with this guy. And then maybe we'll be able to assist them. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, While well, this division goes ahead and pulls back over here to go towards that province. Kind of micromanage these these fronts here. It doesn't look like, yeah, we weren't there soon enough. We might be able to take it back, though. It's not impossible. Let's see if we can't do that uh, before they get there. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. All right, that's a shame. All right, so that's no reason to, to throw ourselves into this. Let's just defend the mountains, man. Defend the mountains. All right, and then we'll go ahead and pull back this here. Just defending these, these provinces here. Uh, we could help defend here as well, I suppose. Hmm. I am worried about not having enough divisions here, though. So yeah, let's go ahead and put him over there. That's fine. All right. So just kind of moving these divisions around a little bit. Um, and we're defending successfully. I was going to say successfully in both of these battles here, but now that one looks like it's not going our way. So what we need to do, these guys need to get out of here. Um, so then come over here and assist this this front here. Uh, these guys need... Oh, that's the one that's supposed to be going there. My bad. Shouldn't have pulled them back. Somebody needs to stay here. Yeah, this guy's going to have to stay here. We're going to lose that one. That's fine. It's only forest. I prefer to fight in the mountains any damn way. So we'll just keep on pulling them back until they lose there. Make sure he doesn't actually move over there. And I almost want to go to retreat with these divisions as well, but I might as well let them throw themselves against us, I suppose. In fact, you know what? We don't even need this. We're not attacking anymore. Uh, and this is kind of hard to, to manage it this way. It'd be best to just go with the fallback line at this point. Um, so yeah, I think we are going to pull back from there. And let's just try and defend as little territory as possible with our fallback lines in the mountains or hills, whatever. Uh, in fact, mountains, man. So that's what we'll do. Let's get all these divisions here. There should be five with the exception of this guy. All right. Uh, and have them just defend these provinces here. We'll let them continue that defense for a little while, I suppose, just to try and get entrenched up here. And then this guy here is just going to go ahead and take the railroad straight over there. All right, looking pretty good. Not bad, guys. All right, so we are winning that one. Remember, we do have good entrenchment bonuses here. I wish these guys would hurry up and get out of there. Like, I'm worried they'll retreat back. Oh, well, they can get out. Never mind. I forgot they're in the faction. Doesn't affect it. Disregard. Disregard. All right, so those guys were defeated. Hopefully that's not the division that was attempting to move over there. It looks like it was. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a shame. Oh, no, that's not him. Oh, okay, he's there. Got it. All right, so he has moved there. Excellent. So now we're just working on defending these uh, three provinces here. It does look like we'll likely lose that one. We'll defend as long as we can because it is mountain provinces. We'll just try and kill as many Japanese troops as possible. Having some difficulty there. Um, that is not what I wanted to see. Yeah, that is not as good as that should be. Yeah, that's a real shame, guys. All right. Well, we're going to have to change this up a little bit then. We're going to have to make these guys defend that province as well then. Um, so let's go ahead and bring this division over here. And then that division could just leave there uh, to go ahead and start entrenching now. In fact, I think that would be the best thing to do. Let's go ahead and have him retreat over here. Start entrenching up while those other two Chinese divisions defend so that this guy can move over here and help defend this province before we lose it because we are about to and that will be devastating to us um yeah that'd be very bad i almost want to move a division from over here we'll take a look and see how it goes as of right now it's still green so i'm not that worried uh we did get the uh protracted warfare excellent uh, that's very helpful uh that's at 20 percent uh, bonus to defense on core territory let's go and get the infantry equipment uh, bonus next so we can try and fix this situation here which is not looking good. Not at all. Fate of Czechoslovakia. Uh, let's take a look and see when do we get this. The 4th of May. So about one more month we get another uh, another military factory. Uh, so I, I don't think we can get any more. But we want to get this constructing. Yeah, we can't. All right. So then they'll start working on infrastructure. It's not really anything else for us to get except for um, fortifications. And I think that's probably what we should get, actually. Uh, start working on the land fort, like right here. 
So let's just build out like two and put that right underneath that that uh there. And we'll see if we can't can't build up the fortifications here since they don't have the mountains. Uh, we might just have to give that province up, but I don't want to give it up without a fight. I want to kill as many Japanese as we can. So having that fort would be helpful. We need forts all along the border, though, if we can get them. All right, so Albania is now in Italian hands. All right, still getting that division over there to him. He'll get there in about one day, uh, and that should help out since we are still in the green. There we go. We're in 66 now. Excellent. Now it's ticking up. Fantastic. All right, and we're just kind of fortifying along here. Okay, so it worked for a little while, um, but yeah, now it's it's back looking kind of bad. Yeah, it does look like we're going to lose there. Hmm. Take one of these divisions and send them over there. That'll result in us losing here, though. But this is... We are getting river bonuses. Could also go to the mountains if need be. Don't want to lose that province, though. That's key. I'm trying to think where else we could, we could move here. We could go ahead and back these guys up here. Let's, in fact, go ahead and send a division here. Then have one of these divisions here. Retreat over to here. And I really feel like... If we pull from here, we'll probably end up losing that, but we'll, we'll see what happens, guys. Maybe we won't. Uh, we will definitely lose if we don't send them to our divisions, though. So, let's try and get them some more help. And these guys will retreat, and then we'll be able to send them to other, other areas. Alright, but I don't want those two divisions just sitting here not doing anything. We're, we're up to 40 now. Alright, with that extra division. Uh, back in the red, though. Got infantry equipment. Excellent. Uh, so, we're done here. Uh, at least for another, you know, eight months or so, seven, eight months. So it's going to get, uh, I guess, we're ever doing land doctrines already. Um, I guess let's go ahead and start doing industrial. Yeah, we haven't finished these. Uh, we'll get the advanced machine tools. Again, just trying to improve our production as much as possible. Uh, we did get the concentrated industry as well. All right. Uh, so we probably will go to construction next so we can build a little bit quicker. Really going to focus on these in this industrial stuff here. Uh, definitely need it right now at this point. Uh, how are we doing almost here? Fourth of May. We also have outdated equipment. That's right. We do need to change this up. Get better infantry equipment out there. Just such a bummer we don't have any damn factories. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the resources are affecting. Yeah, they're kind of affecting everything at this point. We should probably trade. Just such a bummer because we almost have that military factory constructed. I suppose we should wait until we get the military uh, factory. Excuse me, I'm just so terrible at hotkeys right now. We should wait until we get this done. Uh, 4th of May. As soon as that's done, uh, then we'll we'll go ahead and, and change that up. So we are still holding out there despite the fact that I pulled that division. So that's good to see. These two divisions are retreating. We are not holding out here, though, uh, unfortunately. Yeah, that's not going the way I wanted. Um, I don't think this guy ever finished retreating. No, we're still waiting, so he should be there soon. Holding out there strong, so that's good to see. Uh, and then we're going to send this division. I mean, he's pretty weak right now at this point. Uh, as you can see, the equipment uh, situation is, is terrible. Uh, in fact, I almost feel like we should... Uh, none of those are leading me where I want to go. I almost feel like we should go ahead and pull away from the motorized at this point. Because it's just not as helpful as uh, getting infantry equipment at this point. So, you know what? We're going to go ahead and do that. Let's build military equipment. That's what we need right now. So, getting that tor no, ticking up a little bit faster. I think it's worth it. We don't need motorized. We'll be all right. We'll be fine. Let's get the military equipment. And lend lease offer for artillery. All right, we'll take that. That'll be useful. Uh, both these divisions are coming over here. Excellent. Uh, that's where we need them. And we're holding out. All right. Lovely. Happy to see. A few more days, guys. Get that military factory. Almost there. And then we'll start working on getting fortifications built here. We're definitely going to want to fortify. Again, as I said before, we're going to want to start fortifying. I uh, see that uh, Japan is, is advancing uh, fairly rapidly. So, problems. Definitely some problems, guys. Uh, we need to fix the infantry equipment situation. So, we're going to just pump into infantry equipment. Now we are going to go ahead and trade for the steel that we need with the Soviet Union. And that'll help out our production quite a bit. Uh, we know about the missing equipment production. That's right. Um, and why can't we not do the infiltration yet? What, are those decisions not available? Can I not do those because we're in the... Oh, hmm. I might not be able to do those because we're at war. I thought we could. Just see here. At least... Oh, you need infantry equipment. Okay. 
damn it. I didn't realize that required infantry equipment. Huh. Yeah, that, that limits us quite a bit. We'll have to use our political power for something else then. That's what I was saving it for. Let's get the war bombs in. So we have more... Yeah, that's a, that's a real bummer. I didn't know. That's how it worked. Don't want to sacrifice factory output here. Um, and we don't even need. Uh, stability, stability is all right. It's 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 at a decent spot for the most part. Uh, it could be better, but yeah. I'm not going to waste uh, political power for that. So really, we're just sitting on a bunch of political power with really not much I can do with it at this moment. Yeah, there's really not a whole lot... That would be helpful. And yeah, none of these would, would help us out. Yeah. It's kind of kind of stuck, unfortunately. All right, so we're just trying to defend here and uh, defend as long as we can. Uh, in fact, that is actually the end of the episode. All right, uh, so we're here in May 1939, and the war against Japanese is doing... Eh, it's doing okay, I guess. <laughs> could be better, could be worse. Uh, let's take a look at the casualties. As I said, I would. I'm really curious to see how we're doing on, on that front. So China's lost 1.3 million casualties. That is a lot. That is a ton. Uh, manpower typically is not an issue for them though. So, but that tells you how much equipment they've lost. That's the main thing that I'm worried about here. Uh, they have 1.24 million uh, left, but they're only at volunteer only. So, you know, <laughs> it's not really a problem for them. But the equipment is. Overall, our side has lost 1.98 million. Uh, I've lost 53,000. Uh, so not bad. Let's take a look at how much damage you did before I say not bad. Uh, Japan has, has lost 351,000, or their side has anyway. Uh, they've lost 334, and we killed 72,000. So we killed more than, than we lost. That's what's important. Not quite the numbers I wanted to see, though. Not with the mountains and the rivers and stuff. Our division designs are, are not great. Um, we could make adjustments, but we don't have the equipment for them. So there's no point. Uh, absolutely no point uh, right now in making those adjustments. So we're just going to have to wait. Until we uh, fix the equipment situation, which we're having trouble doing because we don't have any military factories. Uh, but we've killed more than we lost. That's what's important. Uh, but yeah, they've they've only lost 223 to China for 1.3 million. Uh, but overall, 334 for China or for Japan, excuse me. That's a lot of casualties to not even be close to being finished in the war. So you know, I don't know, guys. You never know. Uh, let's just take a look. They're currently at limited conscription. They have about 200 something thousand manpower left. Uh, not a lot. They are going to have to change. You never know. We could end up draining them. It does take a long time to drain Japan of equipment, though. Or, excuse me, of manpower. And we need to do much better than we've done so far if we're going to have any hope of doing that. Uh, let's see if them getting involved with the Europeans will help. The United States won't be in for several more years. Uh, we'll, they're currently working on cruiser modernization. Uh, we'll just have to see what happens um, once they go to war with you know the, the Europeans and, and start... Doing these invasions here, that'll distract them for a while, hopefully. And uh, they won't be able to focus so much on the Chinese conflict. Uh, I think that'll help out a little bit. Um, but obviously it's not going to be enough. Uh, we just need to fight better. Uh, we need to get these uh, fortifications built. So at the very least, they won't be able to, to get into my territory here because they are very close uh, to getting into our territory at this point. We're going to go ahead and finish building up these uh, forts. We get it done in June 1939. Uh, we'll get the first fort built there. Uh, and, yeah, I should have that done before they, they get close to taking us so that I can try and get forts built all around uh, so that we'll have a very good defensive line here. Uh, if they win in other territory, though, and they get all the way around us, then it's irrelevant anyway because we don't even have enough divisions to defend all of our provinces. So, yeah, we'll see what happens, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the episode, though. Uh, if you did, make sure you leave a like on this video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Hope to see you on the next one, and thanks for watching, guys.